how to set up pre-orders on shopify hey guys welcome back in this video i'll show you guys how you can get started step by step on setting up pre-orders on your shopify store so let's get into it now the first thing to keep in mind is that to do this you will have to install a plugin and i'll show you guys exactly how and what exactly is the reason for a pre-order well, a pre-order can help you in managing your supply chain. You can choose to only buy that much product as much as pre-ordered and then you can expect like a quantity that you're going to sell over a certain amount of time and then you can choose to only order that much of that item. This can really help you in managing waste as well in your business. Plus, this also increases your customer's excitement for your new collection or launches and helps you in managing your orders and being able to actually track, you know, how many people are purchasing frequently, who are your loyal customers, who are looking out for your newer launches. Now, to get started with building our pre-order setup, all you have to do is log on to your Shopify store. Once you're logged on to your Shopify store, you want to click on settings on the bottom left. Once you click on settings on your bottom left, you want to click on apps and sales channels. Once you click on apps and sales channels, you want to click on Shopify app store. Now, once you click on your Shopify app store, you want to search for easy pre-order. So once you search for easy pre-order over here, you will see this application over here. It says easy pre-order pre-sale manager. This is built specifically for Shopify. So you're going to click on this application over here. So this is our application and you're going to click on install over here. And this is the application that will help you in instead of, you know, having only a add to cart button or buy now button to actually have a pre-order button. Now, after you have installed the application, you're just going to click on install now to further authorize your application's installation to be completed. And once you do that, you will find a easy pre-order icon on the left side of your toolbar and you can just pin this to your navigation to make it easier to access now after you do that what you have to do is you have to go into your shopify sales channels so what you're going to do is that you're going to click on sales channels over here and then you will see your online store and then you will also have your app embedding in your online store so once you click on your online store you want to click on customize and we're in our online store so once we have our online store we're going to click on customize over here and once we click on customize we want to embed the application so you will see on the further left side of your screen on the furthest left toolbar you have the third option of app embeds so you want to click on app embeds over here once you click on app embeds you will have any applications that you've installed for us we want to activate easy pre-order so you're simply going to click on this icon on the right and then your easy pre-order plugin will now be able to make changes now you're going to click on save on the top right and once you click on save on the top right you're going to click on exit on the left again and then you're going to go back into your easy pre-order application now once you've done that you can just click on enable theme extension just to make it easier but if you don't, you can just go on ahead and do it the manual way that I just showed you guys. But if you click on enable theme extension, it does pretty much the same thing. Now, after you have enabled this extension, you want to start adding the particular products that you're launching for pre-launch or pre-order. So you can click on add product over here. And now let's say that our jacquard embroidery tote is what we're going to only be selling on pre-order so i can select this product and click on save once i click on save over here now if i go into my product section and take a look at my current product so let's preview our product in our store like this now currently you guys can see it previously had a buy now button and a add to cart button but now it only has a pre-order button and people can you know add the particular item for pre-order so they can just pre-order the item that they have now another thing you can see is that if you go back into your easy pre-order there are some other settings that you can enable so once you have added your product into your pre-order you can click on the left toolbar and then within your left toolbar you have easy pre-order and then in its drop down you can click on pre-orders now if you open this item up you guys can see over here that you can click on edit 
and then you will show the specific inventory level then the always pre-order now i always want to show the add to cart uh, is replaced by pre-order instead of having the add to cart button now if a product is sold out and then you want to replace the add to cart button with the pre-order button you can enable that or let's say when the item is running to 99 uh, then I want to show the pre-order button. Now, let's say I always want to display this and I want to apply this setting to all variants. Now, once I've done that, I can go back. And then these are the customized settings. Now, this is going to be variable for different types of stores, different types of items. For us, we're only going, we're always going to show this particular pre-order apply to all variants. And then once we've done that, we can go on ahead and click on disable or enable if we want to apply this setting so after that you might also wonder you can also add a custom note with your pre-order so maybe you're going to add a custom note saying your pre-order orders will be delivered within two to three months or it will update you as your pre-order arrives to our store so you can really make a lot of different changes but i'm gonna set it to always show the pre-order button and then click on save on the top right make sure you're saving these changes as you go now after that you can click on your orders over here on your easy pre-order and you will be able to see the items that have currently been applied for for pre-orders so how many how many pre-orders are you getting for a item now after that you have your basic settings so in your settings you can set your languages you can add a custom label to your card so instead of pre-order maybe i have a booking now or book in advance options so you can add those options as well and then you also have some advanced code related settings now after that you have the plans of easy pre-order now on the free plan you can only add one product for your free pre-order plan however on the five dollars a month plan you can add as many items as you want for pre-ordering and you can add all of your pre-existing features such as language translations three different pre-order types adding a note and so much more so in this way, you can add a simple pre-order item to your Shopify store. It's easy and efficient and can help increase your sales as well. It's a great marketing strategy, especially if you're looking to, you know, create a more hyped up version for your product. You're trying to create more excitement, more enthusiasm around your product. Then adding this feature can be a really great boost for you. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the youtube channel and comment down below the best tips and tricks that i have taught you within this video and make sure to also share this video with your friends and family and to other creators as well so you can help them out as well and to anyone that might need to know this basic detailed platform and how you navigate through these different social websites so I hope this was helpful enough for you and make sure that you do leave a comment down below if I missed out on anything and if there is anything you would like to add and I will catch you guys in the next video.